just scoping this place out again and I feel exactly the same way as I did the first time. This reminds me so much of Mensis in Bloodborne and this reminds me, I'm assuming that this is kind of the original idea of the brain of Mensis and it looks like about the place that it would be suspended it's connected to this big glowing chain over here so I assume at some point I'm gonna be over there I'm gonna break that that's gonna drop and now my only question or concern is when I start that way is this thing gonna be hurting me just like in the nightmare of Mensis and Bloodborne but I'm really excited about exploring this area it looks very cool I'm using this uh, Mirden hammer and I wanted to try something real quick I've got this ring of devout prayer which gives me an extra miracle slot I want to see if I can cheese the uh, the second chance miracle see if I can activate it and then take this off Yes. Okay. Yes. So the second chance is still activated, but it's gone now and I've got another ring on. Excellent. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. Don't need this anymore. So I'm going to use this dark silver shield, which seems to be good for magic. I assume there's going to be magic boys in here. Let's do it. So far, no sign of... No sign of the brain wanting to hurt me. Clearly, where I need to go. Oh, you're coming up here. That was cool. I thought he was just like a... piece out there. I see another one down there. Okay, what are my options here? This looks like it should be a shortcut. These cages are also reminiscent of the Mensis area. I'm digging it. I dig the Mensis vibes. What is he doing? That guy was a little wonky, I think. This is very cool. Really digging the uh, the art design of this place.
It is nice that they can fly. Yeah. But, like, as in most flying enemies, you knock it off and it still just falls. So that's cool. But they definitely seem a little uh, stupid. Okay, we got a way up and a way down. I see lots of loot down. I like lots of loot. Well, I guess not necessarily. I'm assuming this goes down. Could be wrong. Spice. I have so much of that. I have so much of everything at this point. Just out of range, buddy. Okay, I'm assuming I need to... Uh, I'm tempted to sit there and wail on it for a while, but if I had to guess... I need to find that chain first. Whatever, man. These, uh, these gargoyles, check out that butt, check out that twerking action. Oh. Yeah, twerk for me again. Get it. Yes. Way you work it. I don't think that's even cat ringable. Okay, I don't see any clear way to get down there for now, so I'm going to continue exploring. Looks like I need to go back up. And there's an item there. A 
lots of lots of secret items to drop to in this area looks like which probably should have been obvious from the beginning given that it's just a bunch of disjointed platforms basically I'm wondering the same thing as I have about several things in this game uh, I'm wondering if the people who played Demon Souls first and then played Bloodborne if they got to the Nightmare of Men system was like oh man this is like Upper Latria I assume that would be the case I think that that was that item I was just looking at I believe I think it, yeah uh, do I want to try that Maybe it looks a little, it looks a little maybe impossible. Kind of looks like a troll. I think I got to go for it once though. Oh, okay. Not bad at all. Rune shield, rune sword. Protects from magic. Is it? It's not nearly as good as the one I'm using, though. How about this? Do not have the magic stat to use it, but gotta check it out. Uh, I can't see the color because I'm in soul form or maybe it's just this area, but it's pretty sweet Very nice I don't even think I'm worrying about you guys Sometimes the uh, the lighting makes me think there's items places like that that bl glowy blue on the back of that chair, I guess. There's several of those in the game since so tease me. Maybe it's supposed to be like that, but Okay, once again, looks like I'm going to have to get rid of this boy. I love the lightning. The lighting effects in the sky are really cool. Death is delayed. That one's death sound was really delayed. Don't know what's up with these gargoyles, but they're kind of comically uh, bad. Flambers.
It's really funny. Every time I pick up a weapon that, like, is in all the other games. I feel like I've ran into an old friend that I haven't seen in a while. I'm like, I know you. And it's fun to see what the differences are. Bleeding large sword. That's what I would expect. The range on that second spin to win is a little uh, disappointing. Or maybe just, I don't know, maybe it's these buggy gargoyles that uh, it's not hitting on. I don't know. I'll have to test it on something else. But I don't think, I don't think, I assume that's supposed to be two hits. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just a one hitter, just a 360. I assumed it was two. Uh... Okay. These are, these are just, these dudes are chumps. They're just dumb, dumb chumps. They're not very good at fighting. Ah, uh, dang, now we have elevators from the, uh, uh, is it the Iron Keep? Dark Souls 2 DLC <laughs> One with uh King Alant or whoever at the top the uh Samurai Dude that can commit seppuku if you Don't take any damage and it has the shiniest most reflective cleanest boss room floor I've ever seen. That looks like another patches trap out there. Some bitch in patches is busy in this game. That'd be the third one. These idiots. Never did find a secret in the first area with these. I'm assuming I'm just going to have to murder them all. That's going to be my guess. Let's see. Ok, 
Okay, that looks like the way I need to go next. Oh, that's brutal. Let's let's see that again. I like it. What about two handed? I like it also. Did I do it? Uh, no, but I think I think there's I think that's another chain right there So there's multiple multiple chains holding it up, okay, but it is I'm on the right path Where is he? I mean, you gotta do it. Even if it is a patches trap, you gotta do it. Okay, this guy. I will remember this. I am certain we will meet again. Um, this guy has a shotel, shotel, whatever it's called, and a dagger. And I just let him out of a cage.
And now I'm wondering what's gonna happen because I feel like he's Lotrek. I will remember that I am certain. And I'm tempted to murder. I'm tempted to murder. I haven't murdered anybody in this game yet. But it's also, if it is, if it is Lotrek, I kind of want to know what he does. Yeah, screw it. I want to know what he does. I want to know what comes of this. Or it could be more like... Nah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Alright, buddy. Can I... That was pretty cool. I didn't expect that. And now I'm wondering if I need to go back up. I don't know. I didn't see another way. Uh, unless, unless one of those paths is unblocked now. What are you? Scorpion. Uh, human, human scorpion peeps. With like saddles on their back. Oh, I like these things. I like these things. Those are cool. Those are cool and creepy. I kind of dig that. I'm just going to take a survey of this bottom area. See what all we got here. Another fragrant ring. Oh, that is nice. Hit me again. I want to test it. I want to test it once more. Oh, that was my, I think, yeah, second chance just propped. I think just killed me. Shoot me again with some magic, bro. It's pretty disappointing damage. Thought I'd try that, uh, whatever that is. 
solar ray. I haven't used it before. I think it's supposed to like go through enemies. I don't want to choose you with a bow, but I need you to stop swinging for a second. Mother. Even those things, even those things kind of look like, like the, the walls of skeletons that's in the Nightmare of Menses. It might be in other places too, but. What the hell? I do like that, uh, I like the ragdolls, or the, the, uh, like all corpses. All the corpses in this game are ragdolls. Even the ones that you didn't kill, that you just encounter, that have loot on them. I think that's kind of neat. dudes are pretty terrifying and when they're swinging seem to be uh, almost impossible to run up on but I like them I definitely said it the first time but they remind me of the very end of the game inside and that's all I'll say I hope I didn't say more than that last time but if you haven't played inside you should absolutely do it it's not that long of a game and the end of it left me feeling all kind of weird ways as soon as I find a way up I'm gonna kill you so hard. I thought this was it, but nope. I just makes you think you can fly for a second. And maybe it's because of this helmet I'm wearing. I think I've got just enough lift.
I like those dudes. They're creepy. So far, nothing has been uh, as tough as the uh, octopus dudes in the first area, though. Which I don't know. That was pretty early on in the game. This is the first area I came to after like the uh I don't know that extended tutorial. I think the after talking to the monumental, this is the first area I came to. I could be wrong, but I know it was fairly early on. I just know those squid face dudes that uh, hold you in place killed me many times I'm loving the vibes. I mean, I, I kind of have that thing where, like, if I hadn't played Bloodborne and if I didn't know, like, just by looking at what what was going on, kind of, if I didn't have such confident expectations of what was happening here, oh, well, I feel like, uh, speak of the freaking devil. so disappointed in myself. I should have just tried to finish him off. I was relying on my uh, my magic shield too much. And apparently it does not block his stasis move that he does there. And I just I had just psyched myself out talking about that dude. Oh yeah, that's the chain. That's a chain I could see from the beginning. That... I'm probably gonna come up from that bottom area into it, if I had to guess. Pretty sweet. Okay, get it together. These dudes are not even difficult. You just can't freak out. I think I cut his tail off. I'm gonna test that again, but that's pretty cool. Is that a, is that just the head of the gargoyle? That's kind of neat. What do 
about you? Okay, you're still off. Uh, you died too quick. Alright, going for it. Don't care. Don't care what's up here. Broom Tower. That's what I was trying to think of. Those are the elevators that are in Broom Tower in the DLC and DS2. And, um, and it's a lawn, I think. Sir Lawn is the boss I was thinking about. It's at the top. I like this right here. I like this view. You know what? Screw you guys. Make me miss my elevator. This looks like it goes a long way up. Perhaps I missed something on that side, but it'll just have to stay missed. goes. I don't know what that thing is called, but if it's not called the Heart of Latria, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not. Okay, this is the beginning, right? Yes.
So now I just need to check the couple ways that I wasn't able to go. Because of the, uh, the ventricles and the aortas and other cardiovascular related blockages in my way. Oh, hell. Dark up in here. Where? Where am I going here? I know that the uh, heart is down. That looks like a boss room. Dang it, I picked the wrong way. I thought where that thing landed would be progression way or the way to a boss. Uh, I think I want to explore the rest of it before I do this. Interesting loots up in here. You can chop the tail. That's really cool. Okay, I got loot to look at. I got the gold mask. Does that mean only... I think only females can wear that. I dig it. Alright. And... I'm gonna assume it gives me extra souls too. Also got this rapier fire attack, and I've and I got the ring of avarice, which I'm assuming also gives me more souls. Yep, excellent, excellent. This is this is really cool. I'm I'm assuming I probably have two more bosses left. I, I don't know, but um. If I had to guess, if it's like the other areas, it'll be this boss and then immediately a final boss. So, um, 
Yeah. Gonna try not to fall asleep in the middle of it. Monkey bat snake man. Pretty cool looking for real. Is that just a pushback? What even was that? Definitely final boss there. I think the uh, dangers here is him knocking you off. Oh, can I cut the tail? Yes. No loot, though. Oh, uh, okay, I see. The original gargoyles. Okay, that definitely made things more interesting, and I need to go heal. Okay, I uh, I can get down with that. I thought it was going to be super easy at first, but I like that. Take two. Okay, I didn't notice where his health was, so I'm going to assume it's half health. Okay, that's cool. That's cool that you can push him off, but he flies. Don't bug out, though. Uh, I kept expecting the other one to come out. I was watching the health bar for the uh, the second one there. I'm confused. Confused why? Unless it only comes out if you run to the other end like I did the first time. I don't know. I don't know. That was weird. But I'm just going to do that again and just fight the first one at the beginning, I guess. Take three. I'm so surprised I haven't been knocked off yet. It's 
see, I was thinking it was either the tail cut or half health when uh, the other one came out. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it is a proximity thing. Maybe it's a... Uh, to have both. I didn't want to uh I wasn't gonna feel right if if I killed one and the other one wasn't up, but now I now I do have to heal. Let's see. It's over. I like these guys though. This is a cool fight. favorite moments of the fight right there when they fly away it's because it looks cool Swap, ring swap.
don't know if that worked or not. As soon as you get anything that says Avarice, you gotta you gotta swap to it as soon as the uh, fight's over. Oh yeah. And then I gotta do my victory dance. Oh, maybe there's not a uh, final boss. Maybe that was the final boss. Never mind. Mixed demon soul. I'm liking this. I'm liking this weirdness. That's interesting. I've never known where that headpiece came from. Continue. Let me look at this tendency. It's still neutral here. And now it's one less than neutral. Okay, I wasn't actually planning on fighting the boss anyway. I was just gonna do what I normally do and it and then head back but uh you know whatever I got stabbed through the guts by octopus face instead so uh, I'll run it back next time <laughs>